Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a hammer for static structural analysis. We will start by double clicking on static structural. I'll first go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. I will choose the material as stainless steel for the hammer. You may also use grey cast iron as one of the material for analysis. I'll update the project now. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click import geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry and I'll give both the material as say stainless steel first. Next I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next I'll go to static structural and insert fix support at one end and on the other end I am going to insert force I will change vector to component along the x axis say I apply a force of minus okay, it's plus 100 because that is the direction of x axis for solution, I will insert deformation total. I also want to see the deformation directional along the x-axis. I want to see the strain generated over the body. I will insert stress equivalent. I will go to tools and insert stress tool. I want to see the safety factor here. Next, I will go to solution and solve. First, we will go for total deformation over the body. It is 0.185 mm, which is a very small value. So, that's how you are going to use your hammer. Next, we have the directional deformation along the x axis. The value obtained is 0.175 mm, that's the maximum value generated over the hammer. It's again a very small value. The equivalent elastic strain is maximum 0 0.00366. Again, a very, very small value. You can see here your body is almost safe. When we go for the stress, we can see that maximum stress is generated in the zone where it is fixed and here it is quite safer. The maximum stress is 70.69 megapascal. The value is very, very small. And your hammer is almost safe except for some zone where the stress generated is more. Now suppose if I change this material to grey cast iron. And solve once again. You can see the deformation is 0.32488 mm. That's the maximum value of deformation. Directional deformation along x axis is 0 0.30. The 
Elastic strain is 0 0.00633. The stress generated is 69.63 megapascal. Again, close to that generated by steel. And the safety factor, you can see here it's showing zero, which means it is quite unsafe. So using this material would not be a better solution. So it's best that you go for using of stainless steel. Now you can see the safety factor is more here. Now since stainless steel would not give me the life of this hammer, I can change this to structural steel. Solve it once again and you will get the value of deformation, stress, strain and the safety factor. Here the only additional thing that you can add is your fatigue tool. You can change the mean stress theory to Goodman theory. You can right click and insert life and solve once again. Such that you can see what is the life of this hammer. It is 1 into 10 raised to 6. The design life, if you insert, that is a factor of damage and solve again, you would see that it is designed for 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles, but it is working for 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles. This is the total deformation. This is the directional deformation along the x axis. You can animate and check the results. The animation will be the same. So that's how you analyze a hammer for static structure analysis. You can get the value of total deformation, stress drain, safety factor, the life and the damage which is caused on this hammer because of repeated use. So with this I end the session. If you have any doubt, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.